Hey, this is Daryl Olson from the Jackson Fishing Team. And today's fly that we're going to tie is uh, a terrestrial, a grasshopper, for uh, my upcoming annual trip to New Hampshire. And uh, we'll, uh, this is kind of like an old fashioned grasshopper. It's uh, not really foam, but uh, why don't we go ahead and we'll take a look at it and I'll describe the materials as we go along. All right, this is the grasshopper, what we're going to be tying. Um, why don't we get started and I'll explain the materials as I go along. The hook I'm going to use is Dahichi 1270 in a size 10. It's a curved style hook for hoppers and terrestrial stoneflies, nymphs in there. We're going to debarb the hook. Yeah, this is uh, one of the earlier versions of the grasshopper that were been tied since, uh, I don't know, 1650s or whenever um, in there. So the thread I'm going to use is going to be a dot black seventy denier. I'm going to start at one about a hook gap, hook eye gap behind. Boy, that tough line. All right. better. Nothing but a comedy show when I'm tying. And we'll take this back to uh, the barb of the hook. And I'm going to use uh, some red hackle with the tail or I don't know the legs maybe. I don't know what you want. Kind of even up the tips a little bit. And strip off those. And I'm going to use it maybe about a gap with long on that. And put a loop under it to kind of hold it up. And then uh, wrap forward to kind of build the body up. And then about right right in this area I'm going to tie in some uh, some sparkle yarn in olive or green. I'm going to say if you're planning to tie it on something smaller you might want to just separate the fibers a little bit. Not to use such a thick piece. But you do want a thick body when it comes to grasshoppers because they've got a thick body. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and turn that on. You could dub the body if you wanted. It's 
and then I'm going to put a little loop here, just kind of like make it look like an extended body a little bit, I guess. Next, I'm going to grab a little brown hackle, just a light brown hackle for the for ribbing. We're going to tie that in by tip by the tip here. Let's trim part of this off. And I'm going to stop it right about there. And then we're going to wrap, make our body with the sparkle yarn. Creating a nice thick body. Once we get to where our thread is, we'll tie this off. Smooth this out, it'll help us when we're finally getting the hackle on there. The other hackle that is, this hackle is just going to be a rib, it's going to be open spiral wraps. And that's about maybe four or five wraps going forward evenly spaced. And then I'll give it like a full turn here and tie that off. Trim this off here. And then I'm going to do is just so I can get that wing case or that wing fit over that. I'm just going to trim the top off a little bit. I'm going to use a bottle turkey, turkey tail or turkey wing. And I'm going to take a similar hook and I'm going to size it to the hook gap. Like that. And then I'm going to take my scissors and trim that off. Now we're going to want to coat that with some lacquer or some head cement. I'm going to use uh, 
waspy fly head cement. It's like a lacquer based thing. And uh, I'm just going to dip my abotkin in there. And then I'm going to take my feather and I'm going to kind of paint it on there. And then kind of hold it with my finger and then kind of coat it, rubbing it like this. Then I'm going to set that down and close up my glue so I don't get high smelling it. And let that dry for a little bit. And then I'm going to tie in a wing, the wing that we had made. sure I got it over that body and then I'm gonna cut that wing down a little bit. So that maybe it just past the loop I got on there. On that part. Now I'll find a The hackle feather, a little darker brown. And uh, I'm going to tie the tip in, so I'm going to going to kind of use the thread to help keep that in line so I can get tighter wraps in there and brush these back maybe five, five turns or seven, I don't know, whatever, as long as you're not crowding the eye. Yeah, get another one in there. enough. And then we'll trim that out.
Just put a couple half hitches on there to before I do a whip finish. And apply a little head cement to the thread. And we'll trim that off. And there we have it. A grasshopper. For my collection to take to New Hampshire for my trout fishing up there in the Saco or Androstoggin or the Ellis River.